Lately, I've gotten really into Blue Sky. And until the business people decide that they can bleed it dry, or some insecure billionaire decides to buy it and force us to look at his cringe attempt at seeming less like a vampire, it's how I'll be killing time on the train. And while I do really enjoy following all of your feeds, some of you repost way, way too much stuff. So, here's my solution. Blue Sky Repost Hider. A browser extension that lets you list specific users that you no longer want to see reposts from. Add them to the list, and every time the code detects a repost from one of those users, it'll hide it, keeping your feed nice and clear. It's made the site so, so much more usable for me. Speaking of which, the reason that I'm so comfortable just scrolling through my own feed for you like this on YouTube and not worried about getting a ban is thanks to my other creation, a fix for the one other thing on Blue Sky that really annoys me, despite them handling it better than basically every other app out there. Presenting Blue Sky Content Toggle. It's a really simple website that lets you log on and toggle off or on the built-in adult content filter that Blue Sky already has. That's it. So this actually came about after a message I had back and forth with the creator of Flashes, Blue Sky's answer to Instagram. It's a really great app that's already fully featured and puts the artist first, way more than I'll ever trust Meta to. So I asked them, hey, there's this adult content filter. Any chance of putting in a safe mode button where I can quickly toggle it on or off so that I can feel comfortable opening the app in public? And I was told that it wasn't actually possible due to Apple's restrictions on allowing you to toggle on adult content within an app. Um, c come on Apple, what are you doing? Like, Blue Sky has by far some of the best moderation settings, but stuff like this only disincentivizes developers from putting in this kind of work. So, with that frustration as my motivation, I was finally ready to say, fine, I'll do it myself and I started putting things together. I started with the repost hider first, partly because it was a problem that I knew other people had with the site, and partly just because I didn't want to have to figure out the login stuff straight away. I've never made a browser extension like this before, but I was happy to find out that once you've written this little manifest that tells the browser where all your files are and what permissions you need, you're just writing JavaScript that runs the same as if you were writing it on your own page. So I was able to use the inspector to figure out what a repost looks like in code, and knowing that I was looking for this little string that tells me the display name of the person reposting, I could then use that to grab their real username from the hyperlink, because that's going to change way less often than a display name, and then I could add a tiny little display non flag to the post hiding it from view. Knowing that it would work with a hard coded name, all I had to do from there was make a little settings pop up. All these are is like a little micro website with its own HTML, CSS and JavaScript and letting the user save the names they wanted to silence into storage. I could then iterate through that list every time I found a repost and if I get a match, hide it away. Now I do like the idea of making this feel more native with buttons on each post to add a user to the list but I was aware months ago that this is a feature that the Blue Sky team do want to introduce but they're just waiting on some sort of blocker before they can get it in. So I didn't want to spend too much time working on this when I could just get it into everyone's hands now. A quick upload to both the Firefox and Chrome add-on stores. And after getting rejected one time from Chrome, like excessive permissions, am I not using ActiveTab? If I'm not using ActiveTab, then I don't know what that permission is for, quite frankly. Whatever. Anyway, that's up and I can move on to the adult content toggle. I knew this would be a pretty straightforward one, but I was determined for this to be a static web page because servers are evil and websites were never supposed to think. So I wasn't totally sure if I'd be able to handle the login properly. Thankfully, I found out that Blue Sky lets you generate an application password, a login that just gives fewer permissions to the app, so I can't hijack your whole account with this. 
and as a bonus it means that I don't need to handle the two-factor authentication to get logged in, so nice and fast. I did struggle with the API a little. Like, I could trigger the toggle, but in doing so it would reset all of my content preferences. But then I realised that I was supposed to be fetching all of the preferences first and then modifying them to send back, not just asking for the one thing. Um, this also seemed to reset all of my custom feeds, so um, glad I caught that one before uploading to NeoCities and setting it live. But yeah, with that done, I'd managed to fix my two biggest problems with Blue Sky in just a few hours, like maybe a day of work over two days, and I'm finding it even more comfortable to use now. And I know that they're not perfect, you'll only have reposts hidden on a browser for example, but hopefully there'll be a built-in solution for that soon. Overall though, this was a great experience, and has really turned me on to browser extension development. I've previously stayed clear of doing anything on other people's platforms like this, because you're kind of aiming for a moving target, and what works now might not work in a week. But I really love the idea of taking charge of your own experience with the web, and being able to shape things in a way that you prefer. I'm already looking into some tweaks that I could make to other sites. Reddit, I'm looking at you. But I'll post the links for these projects below. Thanks for watching guys, uh, this was a real spur of the moment project and a little smaller than the stuff I'd normally talk about, but if you want to see what I make next then hit subscribe and I'll see you all soon.